we're here today. We're going to be streaming Propico 6 Nintendo Switch Edition. And I'm joined by El Presidente himself, Calypso Media's Constantine. How are you doing, buddy? Pretty good. Thanks for the introduction, Alan. So I would say we just hop straight into the game because you all have been waiting so long for this game to be on Switch. So what do you think about that, Alan? I think it's awesome. I think I, I, the, the thing I've been needing in my life is to be able to uh, take El Prez everywhere I go. Of course. <laughs> Every room of the house now of can course. have a bit of El Prez in it, and that's only a good thing. Yeah. So I would say let's start right away with a new game and a mission. So and today we want to show you what, or we start with a more easier mission so you can follow up the basics and then we will see where we go into later on so we start today with Pirate King so the f mission focus as the title already mentions is yeah you will be a governor because we start in the colonial area and we try to um, build our pirate kingdom so and just let us start with the mission sounds good let's check it out Tropico just has the best loading screens because you also always have those little quotes which are quite funny and also the music is just perfect to get into the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love the music. You know, that's always been a very, very cool part of the series. Everyone loves the music. We always get lots of comments asking where they can, where they can get it from. <laughs> sure. I really like the intros as well. I meant to say, are you well? But I am reminded of your pirate days. It all happened on Cala de Nada, an island so bereft of natural resources that the islanders had learned to eat sand. But you saved them, Presidente. Your piratical genius made something from nothing. Let me take you back to a time of adventure upon the high seas. Governor, it is a credit to your uncompromising will that no island is too dismal to avoid your attention. So, we are on the map now and just got our first main quest. So, first thing Penultimo wants us to do is to have a pirate cove. And... Yep, that's one of the most important buildings in the game. For anyone that hasn't played Tropico 6 before, the pirate cove is uh, soon to become your best friend. Of course, because that's the building where you can start the raids. So that's our map for this mission, for this scenario. So as you can already see, our very awesome uh, palace is already set on the center spot on the island. And we already have some, some buildings here, like for the chapel, for our religious guys on, on our island, also some fishermen's wharves so just follow the first quest mission we have to do to build a pirate cove so just do as penultimo says we have to go to the building menu and then we have to select the military buildings because uh, red buildings are also combined with the military buildings in the construction menu so which we'll just say we place it right here so our first building has been placed So first of all, what you should always do is you should kind of get like an overview on the map. So you know where you can build stuff and uh, where your tropicans will go. So the first thing now is, uh, as Penultimo already mentioned, is that uh, people have started to eat sand on this island because, like the overlays shows us, it's a pretty bad place to have cattle or sh nah, sheep. It's, nah, it's also not that good. Also no pigs for us, no llamas and no goats. So this means we have to use our pirates to get uh, all stuff which is needed. 
like uh, food and also um, other resources to yeah for example to produce rum or leather later on so our construction guys are already done now we now have a pirate cove no not a pirate coven sea crime and witchcraft should never be combined salutations governor nice island you have there maybe a tiny bit bleak but nothing a few throw cushions won't cheer up so some of you might wonder why why is the um, the British crown showing up? Yeah, we start in the colonial area, which means we are not president yet. We are just a governor. But uh, afterwards, if we reach the next era of the game, then we will be president. But for now, we have to do uh, to deal with the demands of the British crown. And yeah, as you can already see, we have to choose now our next objective. So what are we going to produce? So, Alan, what do you think? What should we go for? I mean, I'm all about the run, personally. Okay, I'm, that. I think that's, the decision is clear what we're going to do now. We're just going to uh, export some rum. So... But we will need also a little bit of more income. But as I have already showed you earlier, there's nothing we can plant or harvest here so we'll check again the overlays to see if there's something on the island which we can make money out of so we can see we have some iron here and also some coal so I would say we start with some mines to get to get some dollars good we've had a question in from the chat asking is there sandbox play in Tropico 6 and uh, yes there is there is um a great sandbox mode. Uh, maybe Constantine, you can tell us a bit more about it. Uh, yeah, we have uh, a huge number of sandbox uh, maps. There, you can also set some. Uh, you can yeah, you can just do the settings by your own. How difficult you want to have the game or the political aspect of the game. You c we have also um, <clears throat> yeah, you can just play missions or you can also play a lot of sandbox mode. So yeah. It's one of my favorite modes of the game. I always really enjoy it. It's just it's nice to be able to set your own rules and just run your own with the way they do it. It's, you know, one of the best things about Tropico as a as a game and a franchise is, is that you can play it so many different ways. And, and setting up a sandbox is just if you have that kind of dream island empire in your mind, then that's a that's a really cool way to just uh, let your imagination run free and, and run it the way you want to run it. Yeah, sure. But I also like the missions, because sometimes I just want to do tasks and have a storyline with it, but sometimes I also want just to relax and do not much as quests as in missions, so sandbox game is also really, really nice. So we have set some mines, but we will also need some teamster guys here to get our iron delivered to the harbor. So then the freighter will show up and get the goods and give us some money for it. So next we have to build some basic stuff. Of course our people want to be entertained even in the colonial era. So therefore we have to build a circus. Got a, a message on YouTube from Jimmy Antonio. Welcome Jimmy. He says I haven't bought the game yet but I played Tropico 3, 4 and 5. I think Tropico is the best game. It's got a great <laughs> soundtrack. And yeah, you're absolutely right. You've got very good taste, my friend. And yeah, we were just saying earlier that the soundtrack's great for the game. So they, it sets the mood pretty well. Do the ends justify being oh, yeah. So. Let's build some roads here to get this done. Refitting the landing right now to a Teamster port so our Teamster guys can also use this way so they don't have to ship all over here so it's more it's faster. So but we have to do missing a road connection. Okay done. So let's check the tasks we have. Still our main quest where we have to export some rum. 
Uh, we should complete a loot raid from our revolutionary Lady Sophia. And of course, yeah, the demands from the British Crown. So we can extend our mandate. You can see the mandate on the lower left corner. And uh, just displays five years and five months, which means we have only this time to uh, to rule. And if the counter is at zero, it's a loose condition. So what we have to do, we have to please the crown with the demands to exit our mandate, so we will not run out of time and can stay in power. So here are our pirate guys can also select on dead man's chest is another working mode you can also select different working modes if you're not happy with the already default one for example this one we have uh, uh, increase uh, or a decrease of the missions durations but our raiders have a chance of 20% to die so yeah why not <laughs> we want to get it done today so we have some to take some casualties And again, if you're new to the game, the work modes there that Constantine's just been showing off are really one of like, uh, they're a really good tip for starting to um, get into the more advanced play of the game because you, you can just really change your your tactics in a, in a big way through those options and, and manipulate the way your buildings and businesses work to, to make more money or, you know, whatever you're want them, wanting them to do. Yeah, as you already mentioned, for example here, this work mode for the Chapelle, uh, there's no healthcare or no healthcare service in the colonial era, which means uh, if your tropicans have uh, a low healthcare, they might die. And then you can set, for example, of the Chapel, the work mode, that um, the quality of the religious uh, need is uh, a bit decreased, but therefore you will gain a bit healthcare so your people won't die at least. So this is quite helpful oh, in the early stage <laughs> of the game, yeah. <laughs> because if you have no tropicans, you can do nothing. Shivering of timbers, <laughs> the splicing of main braces, the rogering of jollies. Governor, the muse is with me today. Okay, penultimo. So we have to get a library. So let's see where we can place this library. can find the library in the education building panel. Here's the library, so next to our beautiful palace. Just place it here. You can wait now for the construction guys to arrive at the construction site, or you can also just do the quick build, which means you have to pay a little bit more, but uh, <coughs> the building will be built instantly. Our pirate story library is a hit. The people have gone pirate crazy. Pirate <laughs> I think I've probably spent more money on quick build than anything else. <laughs> <laughs> May I introduce myself, Governor? I am Captain Rodriguez, a soldier in your service. But I have you call me. So we're getting revolutionist standing for this. So you are one of those guys who can't wait for the construction guys to finish. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's, yeah, I get a bit impatient. <laughs> but you should probably also try the work mode of uh, the construction office. Because there you can yep. increase also the building sp uh, speed, but yeah. Another chance of uh, getting your construction workers to death, so... But that's the risk we will take now. Also increasing the budget of the building, which means our... The men are saying they're not feeling as piratey. I offered to saw some legs off, but it turns out it's rum they want. Hmm. So another quest just came in. The men are all as hammered as nails in a deck, Governor. They've been singing happily and have started dancing too. <laughs> it's quite a show. So the quest just got out of completed because earlier I've already selected the demanded um, work mode. That's why. If someone is wondering why this was just auto completed. So let's take care of the of the quest. So now we will have to get some sugar. Our pirates are still out there to get us some sugar. So what we will do next is to build a rum distillery because we want to get 
Rum out of the sugar. And of course this is not done not done by magic. Just by good old handcrafted rum distillery work. I also like to increase my budgets of the of the mines because then of course you will get more iron for example but also your people are happier because they get more wage which is all which is all about for them so I'm happy and they are happy that's uh, that's our main goal let's build some more mines some good old coal mining making very good use of the space there to make sure you get a maximum return as well oh yes I mean you could all also just place one but it's some kind of inefficient but uh, yeah just pl place as much as mines as you can I mean the, the um, the deposit of the of the resource will uh, decrease faster, but you will also get the money faster. So, in the end, it uh, yeah, that's no big difference. Also, our fishers get a little bit more of wage. Got SSR Burke in the chat saying you look very good, Constantine. He's impressed oh. by your <laughs> costume. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I mean, the question is though. I mean, if you're the official Calypso, um, Calypso Media L Prize. Who's Penultimo in the company? <laughs> uh, well, you have to do uh, a lot of auditions <laughs> and a lot of hard work to actually just get this costume, or let's say the official presidential outfit. So yeah, I've um, never even been allowed near it. <laughs> so my, my beard game isn't strong enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, the, the beard is an uh, essential requirement. For uh, to for this, obtaining this role, of course, <laughs> but penultimo, I don't think so. I mean, uh, so far, we only have the El Press guys, but no penultimo so far, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna have to choose someone. we will need. So let's go to the trade tab. Here you can also see some trade routes. We could also import sugar from some smugglers. It's a bit more expensive but I will do this right now because we still have some money left. Let me check real quick. Yeah, we will build more space, uh, more workplaces for everyone. Just deactivate this. So, trade route, any trade route. So, let's see what the crown wants from us. Oh, only tobacco so far, but since we cannot grow some tobacco here, we will have to wait for another task from the crown. Comment from Jimmy Antonio on YouTube saying the way we make money is still the same and yeah i mean we're, we're looking very much at the core gameplay of tropico here let's not forget so um yeah people that have played the game before will know the basics here that we're looking at and um but uh, as i said uh, going into the work modes of the buildings does mean you can do things very differently and uh if you're looking for something a little bit kind of different from outside the normal kind of gameplay loop we will be looking at some of the dlc a little bit later which changes up the formula a little bit oh yes Stay tuned for that. So let's go for more profit, I would say. So everything good so far. We have a little we're a little bit in depth, but that's not so problematic so far. Ah, 
Ah, our pirates are coming back to get us some sugar. We'll also deactivate the trade for sugar because otherwise our guys will just sell the sugar but we want to make rum out of it. So I have to deactivate this checkbox here and now all the sugar stays on our island and is not sold. Very important if you want to import resources to... Now then, old chum, huh. how's the governing game? If you need help, I can always give you a hand. Or the boot. Ah, well, thank you very much, Lord Roger Windham, for this motivating... <laughs> oh, so far I cannot buy the mandate extension because I have to spend 3,000 uh, Tropican However, cash. As yet only marginally glorious, but with your continued support, Governor, the people will make it shine. So I could go now for the money, but it's not that much, so we'll go for the immigrants because we also have some empty work work slots like here. And this is more needed right now than the little bit of money which we were offered. That's very cool. On YouTube we've got a Comment there from Valter Ravaneda saying, I'm 11 years old and I love Tropica. It's the best game ever. When I grow up, I will become El Presidente. That's uh, that's really awesome. So glad you love Tropico that much. <laughs> and uh, just uh, remember who your friends are when you get into power and make sure you, you look after us, yeah? No, sure. I mean, which stream would be better or bigger than become El Presidente of your own nation? But you can do this already on Tropico 6. <laughs> if you want to practice, of course. <laughs> so, our rum distillery has started working, but so far no one is working at the moment. She's on way to her shack. Also, inside Tyrone, you should not drink the rum, you should produce it. That's open for debate. <laughs> I mean, if the if the work is done, you you, you can <laughs> drink it, of course. Yeah. It's Friday after all. So we have a lot of homeless people, which is not that bad. We will build some some room for them later on if we have a little bit more money. The people have a request, but for safety reasons, it is a secret request. Oh, the Twitch chat, we've got Chibioku saying, I dare you to go as El Presidente on your next Halloween and send some pictures. <laughs> I mean, surely you've already done that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and, no, since it's not an official official um, working day, I would say. <laughs> oh yeah, it's your work attire, so you got to... Uh... <laughs> so, actually right now I have to abandon this quest because she wants us to produce some corn, but it's not possible on this map. So we'll just abandon this. Yes. I'm sorry, Sophia. Next time. Good job, Governor. You're clearly a natural. The quest for corn continues. Thank you for sending me what little product you have. Uh, who I mean, who wants corn if you can have rum? So, exactly. I mean, it's pretty obvious which choice to take. Mad for sea stories have declared you pirate king in this new Tortuga. They call you Langostino, King Braun. Well, I will rather go with the title Pirate King, so... <laughs> Let's see, we have to build more pirate coves, so we have to expand our pirate empire. But I will wait a bit so we have more money. Okay, our sugar is coming in, our guys are still raiding. So let's do something for the people, because... They're doing so much for us, so we have to always take care of them. So let's get us some bank houses. We could also go with... Let's have a look what we could go for. We could also have a library. Or no, another newspaper is also a good idea. Let's build this straight ahead to have some propaganda on our island. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm setting this to the independent because we want some more revolutionary tropicans and also increasing the budget of the building. So let's have a look here. 
but it's working. on YouTube as well from Jackson Tim with, uh, saying he loves the PS4 version of the game. How does the handheld gameplay visually compare to, say, the Diablo 3 port? That's uh, that's a little tricky. So, you know, I haven't played Diablo 3 on Switch yet, but um, I think, yeah, I mean, they're very different types of games, you know, so it's, um, it's hard to compare them directly like an action RPG compared to a strategy game. There's a lot of different things um, going on that you need to be able to manage. Um, Obviously, like one of the strengths of the the Switch port is that the the, um, the UI is translated really well, and so it's it's intuitive, it's easy to play, and it's one of, you know much like the other console versions, all of that's intact. Visuals are obviously a little simpler than PS4, but it's um it's a solid port that performs well, and we're really pleased with it. Glad how it's turned out. Yeah, I have nothing to add to this. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> Gold star for me. <laughs> so let's get our workers more houses. So we also have to increase here our budget because then we will get more research points. And right now I'm opening the research screen, so right now we're in colonial area, so we can have some good stuff here, for example, employee of the month. Well, it's basically double shifts for all, <laughs> and this means, of course, they are twice as happy. <laughs> so we'll also get some church fee, because if you want to visit the church, you will also have to pay something. So let's activate the edict, employee of the month. Everyone wants to be paid more. And working hard is a virtue. We should combine these thoughts via a series of bonus payments and reward schemes for workers who put in those extra hours. Of course, when and I Jackson say seems there, Tropica 6 was a huge wish list game for me to come over to the Switch. Yeah, us too. We were really glad we were able to make it happen. So I was thinking as soon as the um, as soon as the PC and um the versions for the other consoles were announced and uh, we had people straight away saying they wanted to wanted to see El Prez on Switch and I don't think we've ever hit a Nintendo console before actually so it's um it's been great you know we we, we love Nintendo we um, lots of us are Switch owners so as a as a company we're we're really super pleased to be on Switch at last and of course with the best tropical ever yep so yeah <laughs> Okay, money is coming in a bit, so we have to check with our Teamster guys. Guess we will need a bit more Teamsters to get all the stuff shipped. Let's also go for a chapel on this part of the island. Let's get more, more people to work. So the next thing we have to check again. Ah, there it is. Trade room with rum. So we're going to select the trade route. We can check over here on that tab at our active trade routes. What's the status? So we still have to export 2,500 units of rum. Together, Governor Ju, I, and the people will turn everything around. I'm doing my best, Sophia. <laughs> She's over the corn thing now. But what is also quite important, I mean, yeah, of course, uh, how you... how you are shown to your people. So El Press is right now over here. But let's get him to the palace. <laughs> so we're going to customize our El Press a bit. It's also a nice feature, as you can see here. Our El President. You could, you could also uh, change your, ch uh, your gender. You could also play as female. Uh, La Presidenta, of course. So 
let's check out some some fancy outfits. Let's go with the Roman Emperor outfit. Oh, we're not able to. Ah, okay, it's locked. So, but we can just use that one, which is even better for the mission because right now we're a pirate. I think there's also the head. Yeah, of course. Oh, excellent. Actually, I would need this outfit right now. So he's yeah, even better stuff. dressed right now than me. <laughs> So let's check out, the trades are not important right now, but let's just f do some palace customization. So you can see you can change the layout of your palace, I would stay with the center one. You can also choose other paths like a red carpet, but uh, also some of them you have to, uh, to unlock, but it's also the unlock condition is always displayed when you hover over. Yeah, let's go with that one. Let's go with the peacock garden and maybe also some additional coloring. For example, here we could also go for red one. So you can do all like fancy stuff with your palace. So if you're bored by the just blank white, uh, blank white palace, you can always just customize it. So let's hop out of customization. As you can see, it's just. Ah, it's even better right now. And the money's Beautiful. coming in. <clears throat> so. Our pirates are not getting us some loot. As you can see here, we can also loot some resources. We could also rescue some immigrants. Um. You can also do a treasure hunt where you can see what you can get, light rate points or even more money. And of course we can also heist some of the world wonders, for example the Brandenburg Gate or Stonehenge. They all have some pretty pretty strong gameplay mechanics or let's say they give you somehow a bonus. For example it's the Brandenburg Gate, uh, citizens cannot have die-hard political views anymore, which means uh, they're not as fanatic. So if you do, for example, something which kind of um, which is not pleasing the capitalists, uh, the tropicans will also follow with the reaction. But since there are no die-hard uh, faction uh, members anymore, so they still will not like it, but not as much as they would be die-hard faction uh, members. So the political system gets a bit easier depending on the decisions you make. So let's build another rum distillery. Oh, it was too fast. Okay, another complete loot rate. Let's get this done for Sophia. Check our trade route. Yeah, it's getting better. We still have a little bit time left because our mandate is slightly running out now. But just let us buy some mandate time. So I re increase the speed of the game a bit. on YouTube from Hesham Al Malki saying do not stop Calista I'm in love with Tropico 6 when will Tropico 7 be released <laughs> that is um, probably a little way off yet we're still um, we're still doing ongoing development for, for Tropico 6 at the moment you know there's um, you know, there's been a few DLCs we've we brought out and um, might be a few plans for more stuff further down the line um, so yeah we're not we're not done with uh, with 6 yet but one day, I'm sure, we will see seven. Of course. If you can trust something, there will always be a new tropical. So, let's extend our mining business to get some gold. Because this will get us some more money than iron and coal, of course. So let's see what we have here. 
Okay, a little bit more revenue. Let's also check for some sugar. Also another trade route. Well, you did the right thing, which is whatever the crown says it is. Cream tea? But only until the next era, Lord Wintham. So we're good to go. Our people are quite enjoying to be living on this island. 69% so far. Antonio on YouTube says he personally really likes Tropico 3 and 4. Some of his favorites. They're very good games. Well, Tropico 3 especially I really liked. It's good fun. And in fact, um, the iOS and Android version of Tropico is based on Tropico 3. Oh, yes. You're right. There's also the iOS version of the game. Which is also quite quite nice. Excuse me, Plays very well on the tablet. Mm. Ah, not a wrong right, can't, can't steal the world wonders though. Sorry, what do you mean? Like, should we steal some world wonders or what do you mean? <laughs> I just meant in Tropico 3 and 4 you can't ah, yeah, steal of the world course. wonders. So yeah. that's, one of the, that's one of the things we got going in 6. So I would say we're going to progress the main quest of the mission. So we will build some additional pirate coves. No more place for a pirate cove. Okay, perfect. Has anyone ever complained about having too many pirates? I can't, I can't imagine they ever have. <laughs> I don't think so. It's always to, good to have those guys because they can get you some really nice stuff. Say let's get more more and more stuff but we have no pirates yet so let's have a look on our gold mines Sir, here oh it appears that we need more pirates we need a recruitment drive find ourselves some prospective pirates who just don't know it yet. That's what I love about Rodriguez. He always knows exactly what Presidente needs to get everything done. <laughs> and he's right, we need more pirates of course, because as you can also see here for example we are still lacking some employees. Should do a rescue raid to get more people. So just rescue many. Ahoy, Captain! Your coves are ready. I've never seen so many hooked hands, wooden legs, and eye patches in my life. <laughs> so we're getting on raid points. Most jumbo of shrimp. It is an honor to speak to the pirate king. Yeah, absolutely right. <laughs> did you 
even allowed to speak to me. money in but money is coming in just any second just increasing the speed a bit I say governor I'm hearing some delicious rumors about your bleak little island someone has pretensions towards kingship eh? hmm yeah of course we will do this because we are told to do this because otherwise British Crown is angry at us Governor, I've been Another one? some time reading. Always knew I couldn't do it. Never really bothered before. So, but as you can see on the left side, the golden, the golden uh, circle around the quest means like it's the main quest and the silver ones uh, are optional quests. You don't have to do them, you can also discard them if you want to, but uh, most of them also gives you some nice rewards which we'll need to increase our glorious nation here Viva la revolution together governor Ju I and the people will turn everything around so we we'll go with another with some more immigrants because we need them Now then, old chum, how's the governing game? If you need help, I can always give you a hand. Or the boot. Thank you very much for the boot. I will buy some additional mandate time. So, so far what we have to do, we have to build some guard towers. To secure our pilot island. Here. So if we are somehow getting attacked by whoever, we are able to defend ourselves. Okay, let's speed this up a bit. They are quite cheap. Governor, I am here to report perfidy. Lord Windham <gasps> contacted me directly. With a bribe. Oh, I was shocked. Well, I'm shocked now too, because who would bribe anyone in Tropico? Yeah, I mean, I'm the most honest leader of compared to any nation, so I will also have to check this with Lord Windham why he's trying to bribe my personal military expert. Never trust the British. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so money is coming to in. Say that. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get more more and more stuff. The people have a request, but for safety reasons, it is a secret. And again, we are not able to get some produce some corn on this island, so we have to abandon this quest. Because otherwise, if you keep this quest, you will not get any more quests until you have done this quest. So it's always a good idea to abandon this just straight away. And then Sophia will show up in a few months and will give us our next quest. So let's build a fort as demanded. The main quest we have to buy the blueprint 
and then we can also have a nice fort here. So we're quick building it right now. As it should be, Penultimo, as it should be. <laughs> So to get to the next era of the game, which is the World Wars, we have to also, which is also part of the main quest right now, that we have to reach World Wars era. So we have to have an average revolutionary's approval, which we have already, and a certain percentage of population supporting the revolutionaries. We're so if close. yeah, if you want to join uh, your Tropicans some faction, you will need to have some media buildings colonial era we only have the newspaper later on we will also have a radio station and also a TV station to get even more propaganda on our island for example all the other work modes you can see here you can t uh, shift uh, the political views to the militarists or to the environmentalists or the industrialists, but we want now to be independent. You pirates are learning the ropes, Governor. Oh, what a clever thing to say! I bet that catches on. So, everyone is pleased so far. Let's have a look. The blue highlighted buildings show where our newspaper is reaching our tropicans. I ask myself, Governor, do the ends. Justify the aiming, but for <coughs> independence, any sacrifice is worthwhile. If you say so, Sophia. So, what should we do next? We should probably go for another trade route. Still importing some sugar. Viva la revolution! Oh. Together, Governor Ju I another in and interesting question on YouTube from Eldest Source around. asking why hasn't Tropico 2 been remade yet? Uh, on a stance to that was it, we haven't, I don't think we've remade any games before really. We've done the, the occasional remaster, but um, I don't know if we've had a lot of demand for a Tropico remake before, so. Um, yeah, I mean, if, if that's something you guys are interested in, we're always interested to hear what um, what you want to see, what kind of things you want us to do. So, you know, if, if something like that is what you want to know, you'd need to just uh, let us know and tell us what you want to see. Be interested to know why that's your favourite. That's a good question. Out of money again. Expender. So I have to abandon this quest again from the British Crown. I'm really sorry, but I will not build another rum distillery. Just because you demand it. Oh yeah, nice. Money's coming in now. That's interesting. Paladin on t on our Twitch chat saying Tropico 2 is the black sheep oh, of the yeah, series yeah. with all the pirates. Oh, it's really yeah. Neat. yeah, I mean, yeah, that's a yeah, it's a fair point. It was quite a departure for the series at the time. Stands out. Governor, the people have a request. And, uh, and who doesn't love pirates, right? Yeah, it's the reason why we put on uh, in those pirates, for example, in Tropical Six. Yeah, this was totally. a beloved feature of the second one. So there's some kind, kind of back, but not as fully as in the second Tropical. So we're getting a lot of money right now. So everyone it's is nice pleased so far, choices, except the it? British Crown, of choices course. Like 
continue. I think it makes them happy. <laughs> ah, perfect. We can export some gold. So we get another. Also, our revolutionaries percentage is going up because of our newspaper. Do some fish. I will also cancel the other optional tasks because I will focus on rum now. And Etienne has also said, I'm loving Tropico 6 though, it's bridges are so great. And yeah, yeah it's, it's one of those things that really adds a lot. The archipelago system is, is really one of the, the coolest things about 6. I love just the variety in the islands you can get in this game. It's really cool. I mean, this, this map alone is a really good example of just how different you can get and, and having to, to balance, kind of having different areas of different islands and almost like different biomes to certain ones. It's a, it's a really cool. Love that system. Yeah, and later on we can also build some bridges. Yeah. Of course. If we don't want to travel on a boat, we can also go by car. So. Governor, the people have a request. But for safety reasons, it is a secret request. Okay, okay. So last time I will follow your request, and afterwards we will go to the next era of the game. So let's build this tavern. Our revolution is as yet let's wait again until the until the trade rune is completed. So we'll get another. Oh, and just let's cancel this. Let's go to the next People era. Tropical love you almost as much as I do, Governor. We have such exquisite taste. Declare independence and prepare for war. I am ready. Feisty little colony, aren't we? We'll try yeah. not to crush your spirits too comprehensively. Just come at me, come at me, Roger. <laughs> I will show you, I will show you that we are ready to, to claim the independence. Also, our guys here. Okay, this budget is maxed. So I guess they will probably have not any chance. So we have to wait now a bit for 720 days. That's why I will speed up the process a bit. And um, yeah, we can do some other stuff. For example, we could focus to build more essential buildings. We could also build a dungeon if we want to, but f so far everyone is behaving quite nice on my island. So no need to build a prison. Also, build another mine. So. Okay, but this is really the last, the last I'm willing, the last demand I'm willing to fulfill. So, what do we need now? We need a tavern for our miners here. Maybe also some living space for them. Pirates are attacking. Why are pirates attacking? I am the pirate king. How dare you? Come the king, you best not miss. So the guys are coming, but I guess this fight will be pretty, pretty fast done. So only a few pirates left. There's only one which is still in cover, but yeah, attack is already. Already defeated. I, c I mean, come Done. on. What do you expect? <laughs> I mean, like, attacking the Pirate King? For sure? I don't know. You could join my crew if you want to. <laughs> I still have some places, <laughs> some empty uh, 
slots for them. But it's one thing you always have to keep in mind when playing Tropico 6. You will not be able to please everyone. So you should, should always please the majority. Of course, the majority is our press. Sure. So far everything is set up for the next era of the game. We have a little bit of money in the bank. We're also getting more more resources. Okay, one last heaven I promise. Only one more. Could also check the Almanach, of course, this is the most important uh, place of the game because you get all the information you need for being a successful ruler. So. Viva la revolution! Together, governor. I know, Sophia. Just 200 days left so we will have a look in the almanach so we have only four homeless people which is good nobody's unemployed is also really good you can also have an overview which topics are good for example of course healthcare we don't have healthcare yet which will be available in the next era of the game so that's the first thing we want to do after the change we have to get some doctors on our island to treat our people. <laughs> okay, Jimmy Antonio said, don't kill me because I have so many questions. No, fire away, Jimmy. No, you can ask anything <laughs> you like, don't worry. <laughs> Keep sending them in, we're enjoying it. <sighs> How many taverns you want? Will there ever be an end of demanding more taverns? I don't know. And I don't think so. Viva la revolution! So, showtime. Tropico is attacked by the crown. So will always see where your enemy tries to hit you with the crossfade over the building, which means they want to destroy our glorious rum distillery. Which of course we will have to defend because our, our people and our economy needs the rum. So, Alan, what do you think? Do you think the British Crown will stand any chance against us? Of course not. No chance. <laughs> also, this icon over here is summarizing the battle. So, if it's green, like right now, everything is fine because we have one army left and our two towers over here and also the tower here. So, the Attack should be over quite soon. One's gone already. Well, I suppose you did rather well for a bunch of savages. Ta, told you, Lord Windham. So right now we can advance to the World War area, and you can already see that the streets are changing. I greet my fearless leader for the first time as El Presidente. And we did it. So he got more information about the era so um what is awaiting you so and this is the first time we can uh, modify our constitution so of course i'm a 
generous leader. I will let all citizens vote. Doesn't matter if you're rich or poor or if you love me or not. Because if you don't love me, I will make you love me. <laughs> so, always let them vote. So I would go with militia, or no professional soldiers. Governor, I proudly report the construction of our secret hidden fort. <laughs> it is sure to bamboozle the crowd. I'm always up to bamboozle someone. So let's get the blueprint for the I'm shipyard. You're my general and I'm the king, of course. So what we have to do now to actually win the game right now, we have to export some boats and build some world wonders, which is one of the awesome features of Tropico 6. I will show you how to get them and the third point we already completed because we have enough money. So let's go for the boats first. You can also see there are now more buildings because we reached the next era of the game. So we have to go with the shipyard because we need some boats. Let's go with three shipyards. I placed this one quite unfortunate, so I have to destroy the fort and then I can build a road. So. Got a question that's coming from our Facebook page from Gabriel Henrique uh, saying, Dear Press, how can I make an electoral speech? What kind of sp ah? You mean like uh, um, the speech? How do you do it? Like, uh, well, you need to have, uh, of course, an election first. Then you can do the speech. But uh, I guess the first election you can always check here. For example, in the Almanach, you can see at the bottom next election is on in May. So in about nearly ten years is the next election and. I I think one year before the election you can have the speech. So uh, yeah, so we will need to wait a bit until it's election time, then you can have the speech. And of course we get lots of great options for, for customizing it and making it your own. Oh yeah. You can always blame someone because it's never your fault, of course, because a president does not make any faults, of course. So you can always blame someone, but you can also cheer someone up or affection. Um, so let's go for... What do we need? We need locks. We need to get some locks. An official announcement from the palace declares that we are definitely Don't get to on YouTube saying, wow, many buildings and laws. Yep, there is a, a lot to choose from, and that's, that's the beauty of the game. It allows you to play the way you want to play it, and we have all the island your so way. many buildings. Some of them even contain um, side two, so page two. So, uh, yeah. yeah, I think it's, I would say, more than 160, I guess, nearly 180 different buildings in the game. That's so, right. Yeah. It's actually a lot a lot to build. So you and then you get into off. all the all the different work modes for them and stuff and Oh yeah. Yeah, a lot of variety. So what we need now is we need some blanks to get all trades. As you can see now the now the allies showed up and also uh, the Germans are also here, but we have to look for some nice deals because we need some blanks. Ah, over here. Okay, it's a bit it's a bit more expensive, but we have enough money anyway, so it won't hurt us. So but what we need now is 
As you can see here we can now build even better churches. Fire station, of course. And what I promised before to my people is that we will get some doctors on the island. So I will build some clinics. So that they can get their diseases treated. We'll also change to Penny Saver, which generates some money for us. It's also a good option just to sell the newspaper instead of just manipulating people because money is always good I have to modify again so I have to disable the blanks because I'm importing them now to produce some boats because I don't want them to get exported so as you can see here people are gathering Oh, there's only one one guy complaining right now. Oh, the next guy joined. Why are you complaining? Let's check. Let me be. So why are you complaining, my friend? May I help you? Healthcare, as you can see here. He's probably complaining because his healthcare is too low. So, as I already promised. Let's get some doctors on the island. They say war is good for business, but what's really good for business is making a ton of money without anyone dropping their bombs anywhere. So in the World War era, also the capitalists has joined the party. Of course, business has its place. Someone has to make all the guns, tanks, and battleships. But what Tropico needs That's right a now smug grin is right there, isn't it? Military <laughs> with more parades. Fire station seems like a good idea. Task that you might enjoy. It is so much fun that by doing it, you will owe me a favor. Jimmy's asked, can Penelope be put in prison? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why would you want to do that?
They call me the broker. I guess I had another name once. But you know what names are good for? They're good for getting you arrested, Presidente. Well, that's not my game. My game would be business. Which business? Hey, what have you got? Now, I don't want to alarm you, but I'm going to need a rather prompt decision on these offers. Just so you know, Cons, it looks like your your voice is muted. <laughs> I think so. We've got we've got someone looking into it. <laughs> Time to explain what we're doing. We've been looking at the uh, the Swiss bank account for anyone. If you couldn't hear what we were just doing, then we we're looking at the Swiss bank account. Uh, there's a character called the broker that's introduced once you get into um, World War Era and beyond, who will uh, like set challenges and offer you things, and you can buy perks and ex exclusive things, whether it's um, like college educated immigrants or um, kind of you can see there, there's a few kind of exclusive. Um, uh, blueprints you can unlock for buildings, um, get money, all sorts of um, nice perks and stuff to, to make your life a little bit easier. But you have to fulfill certain conditions to, to get that money in your in your swing, Swiss bank account. are doing making good progress we're getting there the one of the main tasks we're working towards here is getting the brandenburg gate which will unlock a low great perks for our for our islands and also is one of the tasks in our main quest We've got uh, Remy has joined the chat on Twitch and has said, Hello, do you wear trousers? That is the question, Constantine, because we can only see the top half of you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, we, we've got. Um... <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. It's, if if Constantine is still muted because we've had a few audio problems, he's just said that yes, he is El Presidente. Of course, he's wearing trousers. <laughs> he, um, in fact, you can you can get confirmation of this by watching the uh, the, the Switch launch trailer, which uh, features him in all his glory, raiding world wonders from various exotic locations that were totally filmed in real life and not green screened. Lord said, I wondered why I couldn't hear him talking, thought he was miming or something. Now nope, we've got a few technical hitches, we're working on it, should be back soon. In the meantime, we're interpreting what he's getting up to in Tropico 6 on Nintendo Switch. But uh, thanks for joining us, 
Uh, who else have we got? We've got Robo Coon TV who's joined the chat on YouTube as well. So, anyway, anyway, looking forward to streaming with the greetings to Patrick. Patrick's actually not on this one. But it's, um, it's me, I'm Alan, and this is Constantine, or aka the real El Residente, or his body double at the very least. Uh, I've had a, re a request from our, <laughs> our, our backroom team to say a few words, Constantine, see if we got the audio back yet. <laughs> I'll find out. Can anyone hear him on the chat, though? If you could let us know, that would be great, because we're trying to fix it. Do not panic, President. Ah, I see. Robocoon TV is Patrick. I forgot that was your other channel. Hello, mate. You snuck in here. Couldn't quite go home and enjoy the weekend yet. Yet to get in some more Tropico for the weekend. Uh, Puerto Viking on the Twitch chat says Constantine is still muted. So hopefully um, get that working soon. Keep trying. I didn't think we'd ever eat all those if only it was this easy to mute another president I could think of. <laughs> Looks like it. <laughs> You're doing business with your president. Cool, okay, so we've got our, our first heist is complete, which means we can place the Brandenburg Gate. Was it Brandenburg Gate or Stonehenge we got? Yeah, it's the gate, yeah. Yeah, the gate. And there it comes in. We at Canal oh, yeah. Uno know that the Tropicans were desperate for construction of an 18th century... There it is, love it. Monument. Well, the wait is finally over. So we have, to come, we have to do a trade through for the axes, let's check what we can get in. How about some iron in the front? Okay, sounds like we've got you back, Constantine, but you're just quite quiet, so we'll see if we can get the, uh, the volume level fixed. Ah, Patrick's on vacation. Lucky for some. Oh, nice to see you here anyway, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll probably resolve this issue quite soon, I guess. I understand our... So what we have to do now is we have to get another heist done. Okay, I guess I should be back online with my voice. I think so. If you guys can hear me, just let us know in the chat. Yeah, how's the volume level sounding to you guys? Let us know. Puerto Viking says El Presidente in all his glory is simply speaking at a higher level not audible to us mere commoners but the dogs are going a bit crazy <laughs> <laughs> that's the correct attitude there's uh, the correct amount of reverence to pay to our beloved bearded leader oh, Patrick says he can hear us it say, could still be a little louder but at least now we can hear him again okay well, okay at least it's something we'll see if I would we can... say yeah, so, we can hear you, but hopefully we'll get a little boost in a bit. So we still need some red points. Okay. 
probably have to abort the other blades. Because otherwise we will consume too much. Let's face it, it's better to be one of the Alpha. Oh, it's so hard to be oppressed because everyone wants something from you, so. <laughs> so what should we get now? Should we guess the Registan of Samarkand, the Hagia Sophia or the or Stonehenge? What do you think? Okay, let's have a look at what we've got the perks, so high school education or what Stonehenge got, I can't remember now. So we get <laughs> automatically high school education for the children of tropical um Hagia Sophia is actually... Hagia Sophia is all healthcare focused, yeah. if I remember right. It's quite awesome if you want to, for example, you can stay forever in the colonial era. Uh, okay. Since you don't have healthcare there, you can just get the Hagia Sophia and nobody will die of bad healthcare. Which is quite awesome for people yeah. who want to play just colonial era, for example. Um, okay, that's a good tip. Oh, Stonehenge. Stonehenge. Make yeah, let's, trees grow. Let's get Stonehenge. I want some trees on this on this rocky island. Yeah, we haven't we haven't got much greenery on yeah. this set of islands, so let's get those trees in. So let's wait for the next world wonder. We should still we have enough money to take care of our people. So let's see what's the problem. Food is quite a big problem on our island. So we have to build some groceries. But since we cannot harvest any sort of food here except fish, of course, we will have to import everything. So let's get some coconuts for our people. Let's get some... Our weapons are not for eating. Let's get some canned goods for our people. Of course, some cigars. Also quite nice. Good old canned goods. And a good old bananas. Food of kings. <laughs> Rockets! The newest threat raining death from the skies. The palace assures all its citizens that no country thinks tropical is worth sending rockets against. <laughs> it's always nice to hear some good radio quotes from Penultimo, of course. <laughs> Nobody wants to work for our boat companies, I guess. So far we're doing pretty good. I mean, you can also, for example, extend your PlayStation on a mission, even if you have done all uh, main quests for that mission. So you can still play until, or as long as you want. So. But for us, we will be getting ready now. Let's have a look. Everything is done except Stonehenge. This will take a little bit more time, but we will be probably soon done on this mission. Just so you know, guys, when we're done with this mission as well, we may well be taking a look at some some DLC. So. Stick around for a look at what kind of comes after we've we're kind of having a look at like the main game now but um give you an idea of what, what comes after that when you kind of dive into the extra content we can show you a bit of that as well see it running on switch you can also check out where is where is elpress oh he's walking over there just been joined by the magic johns he says hello there hello and welcome thanks for joining us I guess Elpris is taking a walk right now here on this lonely beach. We could do place some more buildings right now, taking care of the needs of our people. We were ready to hold the rock. Okay, we have to wait additional additional days. So let's build more stuff. In the meantime, we could also, for example, build a bank right now, or embassy, custom office, or immigration office. We could also hire some police. 
to work for us. I will go with the Ministry. So let's have a look next to our Brandenburg Gate. So right now we can build the Ministry. As you can see we have different departments. We can also get some Ministers. So let's go for the communist here and as you can see for example we have also some broker candidates uh, their only purpose is to generate Swiss money for us so we'll go with them because Swiss money is nice and it's also quite powerful so our ministers are all set so and can you can now see here in the Would broker menu to you? on the lower right board. corner that we're gaining a bit of Swiss money right now so we're able to buy some standing for example or even stage a distraction which means you can just block ultimatums from factions or convincing talk for just regular demands. Got there from Magic Johns. You saw the Twitch link when he was about to play Dungeons 3, so it got us in the background. Oh, good choice. You're choosing very well this evening, clearly. And don't forget, guys, Dungeons 3 is uh, right now free on Epic. So It is. Don't so if you haven't chance. played it before, don't make sure chance. you pick it up, because it is a great, great tactical management game. It's awesome. If you ever enjoyed classic Dungeon Keeper, you'll love Dungeons, I promise you. As El, as El Presidente, I can only approve this game. Like we said, it's free, so nothing to lose. Head over to Epic and go pick it up. So we still have some days to wait. Let's get an immigration office so we will have more people to come over to us. Citizens are demanding ah, elections, right now. Presidente. Here's the it speech. Seems that they want a choice in how they are ruled. So selfish. So, here's the promised speech. Um, we have to check now. Where can we do some promises? For example, the housing happiness is quite low. So, I'm acknowledging the housing happiness is too low. We can praise affection. Let's go with the religious ones because the other ones are higher. We could, for example, blame a superpower right now, for example, the allies, let's blame them. And I will promise an improvement to housing happiness. So I'm just delivering my speech now, it should start at any moment. Just have to wait until El Press is ready to make the speech. There we go. Uh, there he is, <laughs> holding his speech. Our spirits cannot be broken. So rise, O Tropico, and despair no more. People will now come to the to the speech, but this will take some time because they have to travel quite a lot on this map. Those of you who have roofs, but soon roofs for all and walls for many. As we strive, God shall not forsake our beautiful shores. Our spiritual friends guarantee this, for which we owe them one, in this life and the next. Of course, we have enemies too. These so-called allies mislead with their very name. Their propaganda is advanced, 
but we shall not be fooled. What can you look forward to in the years to come? Better housing, slantier roofs, straight And I will walls, keep my promise. More transparent windows. The tropical house of tomorrow is your good president. Is built with <laughs> standards. As you can see, I'm already so raising my. El Presidente for the future that you just deserve. Just an incredible job, of course. Of you. Viva just going from 35 to 67 right now. And only 7% of the population is against me, which is good. 25% are still undecided, that's okay. We still have time. Our mission is also progressing, progressing right now. So we're back in 70%. I don't have to activate any edict, for example, if you are going to lose. Um, an election you can always activate martial law you have to research it first but then you can just activate it which means the election is cancelled of course a lot of people will not like this and also the liberties inc inc decreased but we stay in charge and we can do better the next time so I have to check again what was Stonehenge my pirates are a bit slow today but they will probably be soon Returning. Let's have a look. Okay, no, no pirate ship so far. Hmm. Probably have to speak to them. Why they're taking so long? So long. But where is my money going? We've done it. Ah, very good. Oh, this is quite expensive, state loans. So, let's build... Stonehenge, next to our Brandenburg Gate. And we did it. So many ships and then pirated them that the people of this island no longer need to eat sand. Win game. You <laughs> so, and we're about to win the mission. As I promised, I'm a great pirate king. And there the story ends, President Day. I still have you my that beautiful cutscene to see us how. Cardboard. <laughs> Not much use for fighting. Of course, a pirate kingdom proved unsustainable, and we were forced to execute those who had sailed the ocean on our behalf. As good pirates, it is what they would have wanted. But though times changed, the magnificent legend of Langostino would never be forgotten. Are you ready for a top-up? Presidente, I know you always keep your promises. But the citizens today can be very exacting about what I'm sure the good citizens of Tropico intend to vote. You have done it, Presidente. So victory as you can see, we ours. have done it. We can I mean, now go back to the main menu, yours. or we could continue playing, for example. Then you can just... The election is... It just switches to regular sandbox mode. Quick, and But we also want to show some other stuff right now. So we're going back Sammy to the main day. menu. Time for deal some DLC. What are we going to show? We are going to show the latest DLC, which is Lobbyistico, which also introduced a quite interesting mechanic, which is called Corruption. So Corruption is pretty valuable, but Corruption can also destabilize your, your society, for example, because the liberty is decreased and also crime rate is pushed and also people are not that dumb so they will probably know what you're doing and that you are yeah you everyone knows what corruption does except for the EU in this mission because actually we have to show the EU yeah I know we have to show them really how corruption works because they're pretending to to be clueless what corruption means but actually 
we already all know that it's not the point or not the case. But just for the sake of some good trade deals, I will I will just do as they say. We should probably also introduce some dance instructions for salsa on the loading screen. Nice. <laughs> Got Lord Gosun Gaming joining us as well. It says hello, my good sir. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Join us just as we're about to have a look at the lobby used to go DLC. For any fellow Brits out there, this will allow you to stay connected to the EU in some way. <laughs> well, let's see what's happening. It seems so odd that the EU had no idea what corruption was, especially when you look at the results of that singing competition of theirs. <laughs> But that ignorance worked out pretty well for us, eh? I mean, eventually. If you ignore all the times when it didn't. While inventorying our colonial archives, we found a most curious thing. A diary by Sofia Ortega, a citizen of Tropico, who tells us of something called corruption? So you see here Madame Eline Dupont, which is giving us I our first main quest. So right now we are starting in the modern era, where you have more options, which means more constitution options, of course, also more buildings to build. So let's get the constitution right first. So and uh, G efficient, no separation. No, that's not what we want. Uh, healthcare, privacy rights. Okay, that's okay. So, we are starting Lord now. Gosun Gaming says, question, next console part 7, yes. Uh, so I guess you're asking whether Tropico 7 will come to next-gen consoles. Um, and genuinely, we don't know at the moment. We uh, we are not currently developing Tropico 7. We're still on 6. So, um, we'll have to see where we go with that. But, um, yeah, you know, we're not exactly going to stop Tropico, so... Seven will be on the way one day. Of course it will. So our first main quest is to have an El Press Club. So El Presidente Club, we have to get the blueprint and then we can place it right next to our glorious customized palace over there. So let's have a look. So this is an old boys club, is it? Also well, got the Magic Johns asking if there will be a Dungeons Jones. 4. Already your research has provided many answers. No plans at the moment, but I expect there will be, yeah. Presidente, what a wonderful clubhouse to conduct private business in. It actually has a smoking room. Although the contractors assure me that now the wiring has been fixed. That's good to hear that the wiring has been fixed so far. So... What does this club do? Well, you can invite the faction leaders, um, which gives them a bonus, but you have to take in uh, consideration that you always can have uh, one type of uh, faction leader. For example, if you want to invite uh, Raquel Castro right now, he's a, a capitalist, you won't be able to invite Lucia Sanz, which is a communist, because they won't the opposing faction will never be in the same club, so you have to choose right now. I will go with the capitalists, because capital is always good. You have some traits for them, which you can only choose once. So, for example, gaining and spending Swiss money generates less corruption. Since this is the corruption DLC, I will go with Sounds handy. this trait, because it's quite awesome. So, let's go with the... Yeah, with the conservatives so 
little bit of capitalism and a bit of conservatism is good to go. Once and forever, the standing on the conservative faction gets set to 70 and does not change. That sounds quite nice, so we'll get that. So right now we have to take, have to club members active in our club, so we can take care of other buildings. So let's have a look. We have a lot of money. We have not as much people. So let's get an immigration office. For example, you could also say like, okay, we don't want any immigration and just don't want any immigrants, you can select Tropical first. You probably heard that slogan before. So I will go with Tropical first. So nobody will come in right now. I will just play with my 312 Tropicans on the island. So let's have a look. Best way to check at the beginning of a map or a mission. Okay, we have some homeless people. Our overall happiness is quite okay. I would say it's actually quite balanced. Also have some, but you have to take into mind if you are not allowing immigrants to come to Tropical, you have to invite workers or you have to educate the children on Tropical. So let's just read budget everywhere. Some entertainment for our people. Getting a bit more stuff produced, for example. Here we have some cocoa plantations. We have some pineapple plantations making some delicious pineapple juice for us. So, what we will need first. Got a good message here from Der Siegwurz. I want to thank El Presidente for sharing his time with us. Other dictators are busy manipulating elections and Twitter. So yeah, exactly. If they followed um, followed the uh, example of the real El president, uh, maybe you'd have uh, an easier time getting re-elected, huh? And you don't have to lie if everyone is loving you, so you don't have to claim stuff which is not true. Exactly. So let's have a look what we're going to build now. As you can see, this, since we're in the modern era, we can build everything we want which can be a bit overwhelming at the beginning, so I might just start with some basic buildings because we need more. Are we still missing? I oh, know we, we have enough energy. We get some nuclear power, wind, power plant workers. Our quest is also nearly done. So what corruption basically does is that you will gain a lot of Swiss money from it to, for example, I don't want to alarm you. But Please the broker and get a lot of nice stuff from him. But you always have to take into account that it can be a bit tricky. El Presidente, our readings indicate that club members are leaving your establishment 42.069% happier compared to entering. Hmm. So the club is doing what he should. So what we install, Massage Artois. Okay. If you say so, let's have a look what does it does actually. Increase happiness gain on club member by two. Yeah, sure, why not? And also have some fake charity to increase the liberty in 15 and the wind sanity. Security isn't just a word, President. Have you so as you can see now, you're getting bombed by demands. That club members who have been adequately pleased will surely be open to certain suggestions. Uh -huh, okay, so you have to use the have a drink instead building interaction. So which is probably also here at the club. This means we will need some rum, of course. Probably the rum we have produced on the other map before, Pirate King. To see the demand is fulfilled, does not affect dual demands, this action has a cooldown of 36 months. Okay, so let's do this. Oh. For example, right now since I have two demands of the capitalists, one or one of the capitalists and one of the um, conservatives, when I accept this, I don't have to fulfill them, I just need some rum. The thing is, 
Do we actually have some rum already here? No. Um, so the most easiest way is probably to get some plantations. As you can see we have a lot of different resources, but we will need some sugar for our rum production. And this actually looks like a good place so far. Yeah, compared to the last mission we were doing, this is a very lush island, isn't it? I mean, it's uh, compared to the other one, it's quite huge. Yeah. And it's also more... You have more options. Hey, yeah. Look at that. Buddy. Beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. Dudes. Also, the nice beaches. You can also build, for example, your uh, tourists... Your tourists' um, hotspots on the beaches. Um, but in this case, we will focus a bit more on the corruption. And we're getting a lot of money, actually. So what we have to do now is we have built. We'll also get to import some sugar. We can select by plantation goods. get more sugar and of course a rum distillery again can see by the way folks we're coming up to probably like the last 10 minutes ish of, of our stream tonight so if you do have any questions for us um feel free to fire them on over in the chat and we'll um we'll address anything you want to know about or just tell us how much you love El Prez and he'll give you a good thumbs up <laughs> of course to get some sugar produced. So everything is working so far. We have the majorities of the voters. We also have a lot of money. We have everything so far for the basic needs of our Tropicans. Okay, we could increase some faith because we only have one cathedral or at least we need some more priests and nuns. So our teamsters I guess are already on their way to our rum distillery to get more sugar. rum because our a presidente club needs the rums right now we already get some rum delivered I mean you also have the politics for example in the modern age you can for example praise China or Russia you can do an alliance with the Middle East if you want to you can also ask for financial aid if you're a bit a bit short on cash and of course you should never forget your inner political factions. Here you can see the ones which have the star, the Tropican star on it. They are in the El Presidente Club. So and as you can see always uh, on one side we have these factions and on the other side which is basically always they show the opposite. So religious are the opposite of the militarists, industrialists are the opposite of the, of the environmentalists and the same for intellectuals and conservatives. I think we will get more run by now. Probably we should do 
because what, what, it's one of the most basic edicts is employee of the month which you can or you should activate all all the time is full of workers also our rum distillery is good to go get another upgrade to get more rum produced and we have already activated the edicts you'll never guess what happened presidente a breakthrough I know I think we might just change the world do you really think so by building a high school that we're breaking the world? <laughs> so you can see we have a lot of demands right now. So, no, I don't want to abandon it. So we have to go to the broker. Okay, we have none, none Swiss money yet. So again, we have to get ourselves a ministry. Ed Gaming TV has joined us in the comments to just to say Viva El Presidente. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> oh yeah. So again I'm going for the broker. Play style. Also increase job quality of all buildings by two, so because we have to get more Swiss money. So why is there not much rum coming to our... Why is nobody working here? Do you want to go to prison or what? On way Someone from drinking it on the way there. <laughs> yeah, these two ladies are coming to work. Because uh, she's, she's the first one. Chibioku says, good stream everybody, best Presidente ever. I hope so. <laughs> but uh, according to... Um, to my voters, I have the... Everything is fine, 83%, 80, 82... But that's all good. Let's check again the almanac. Nobody's homeless, nobody's unemployed, just perfect. Should probably get a bit more healthcare for our people. So I'm going to buy a hospital. Ed Gaming TV says, looks looking nice on the Switch. Thanks very much. Glad you like the look of it. It's just the best when you can play in handheld, just on your couch or in your bed or everywhere you want to. Especially during lockdown. You always have a bit of sunshine on your Switch when playing Tropico. <laughs> I've got to ask Cons as well, like, how easy is it to play this game with those shades on? Um, now, I it's don't good. Want to alarm <laughs> I mean, I can see I'm everything. A it adds a bit of El Presness to playing the game, so everything's fine. Cool, cool, good. <laughs> when I mean, I played so much Tropical, I can basically play this game blind. And still <laughs> yeah, true. Will be, will be beloved by my people. Ah. So you should probably notice on the left side right now the two demands are just disappearing or get instant completed. Pleasure doing business with you, President. As I said. And I can pay you back ten. Well, it appears you have managed to make some of this corruption the diary talks of, Presidente. I wonder. Master at work. Look at all those quests clearing out. So as you can see now, the, the EU is they're acting like they don't even know what uh, corruption is. So in this mission, we have to show them what corruption 
means and what it also does to your island. So in this mission you have like a help, kind of tutorial Remember. feature for the corruption mechanic which can also be used in a sandbox game of course. So this mechanic is not only in this mission. It just shows you what you can do with the corruption and rounds it up with a nice story with the EU that you have to show them how it works. So right now we have to get more club members. So let's go. Okay, I mean, in this in this time we probably have to go with the environmentalists and not with the industrials, because otherwise the children of Tropico will go out on the, on the streets and just protest. So let's. Yeah, it's all about striking a balance, isn't it? Oh yeah, especially with corruption, it's a, it's a nice mechanic, it makes the core game of Tropico more interesting. So, it's getting a bit more challenging of course, and also, um, yeah, and, and you can get a lot of Swiss money, which is actually one of my favorite, favorite stuff. Oh, Barracks Army Base and Aircraft Cave have no upkeep costs, that's pretty awesome, because they are quite expensive. Mm -hmm. So, a question from Pop Latte as well, saying, "How is placing roads and bridges? Is it easy to do?" Uh, the answer is yes. It's incredibly easy. It's it's just um, click and, and drag for for both really, as long as you do it over a stretch of ground that supports the construction you want to do. Um, it's it couldn't be easier to do, really. I will just showcase it for you. Best is that yeah. you place the camera, just then you can uh, look straight to the ground, so you can see the tile. And you can just move a bit the cursor, you can just place your roads, and then if you're going next to the shore, it just switches automatically to a bridge. So it's really, really easy to use these features. Probably here, I, have, okay, I don't know why the bridge is not starting anymore, but it, the feature itself is really, really easy to use. So, why can I not build this right now? Uneven terrain. Okay, probably we're not supposed to build bridges on these shores, but as you can see, as soon as you move to the shore, it just switches instantly so that you can build some bridges. I'll also start here, for example, move around, and just go by from tile to tile. So it's really convenient uh, placing of roads and buildings in Tropico even with a controller. Yeah, it's super easy. Yeah, and that's already done. So as you can see, it's quite easy to connect the islands with bridges. You could also use, for example, you can uh, make bus bus routes. You could place some parking decks so the people can drive by car there. Uh, you can also, um, for example, place a telef telepheric station. So which basically should work right now oh no it's out of range but you can for example as you can see here right now if we're going to quick build this building we also have a nice cable car so there are some kind of different types how you can access other islands or part of islands so you don't always have to go with bridges if you don't want to but let's get back to our corruption call so corruption is increasing right now which means we are gaining more Swiss money. So for example we could amend the constitution which means we could just use this and re sign it. So if you want to change the constitution, if you're not happy with your choice, you can always spend some Swiss money and just try something different. Just about got uh, one more comment. We've got EDG Gaming again trying saying the uh, the controls look really good. And yeah, it's it's something we've spent um, a lot of time perfecting over the last few um, a few Tropicos really, because yeah, um, Tropico 5 and um, 6 especially have both been on multiple consoles each. Um, some of the older ones were on Xbox as well, but it's, you know, we've spent a lot of time with uh, the console controllers, um, as Cons is showing at the moment, the the wheel where you can access all the different um, building types is it's really intuitive and, and really easy to use. It's one of those things that um, 
like if you, even if you're used to using a mouse and keyboard, it doesn't take too long to just, it becomes second nature and you find yourself just quickly, you remember where everything is and it just takes a few button presses to get there. So um, yeah, we, we try and make it better from each game to the to the next and Tropico 6 is the biggest, best Tropico we've done. So the um, control scheme was really important. We wanted to get that right and we think we think it works well on all the um, on all the consoles. What doesn't work so well is um, that building apparently, which is on fire. <laughs> Apparently yes, but our but our firefighters yeah they're a little bit stuck in into each other but they will take in care of the fire. So no <laughs> worries. I've actually increased their budget so they will better probably uh, put those fires out. So our pirate cove is building. So we're nearly done with our main quest so far. Or we are progressing. There's the whole corruption value. Okay, so Let's have a look, my people love me. What we need is we need a bit more money. So we should probably extend or have a look what we already have here. Okay, we have here a lot of pineapples, so we could actually is proud to welcome its new build another choosery. It's, it's, it's always good to have a look what, for example, on the mission, what your pre-placed economy already produce. And it's probably better to increase the already persistent economy instead of going for example right now for weapons because you will need to have coal and iron you have you will need steel you will need nickel and you have of course the expensive buildings to build so it's always good to have a look on your island what you're actually producing and where you could need more just more of it same goes for the chocolate It is so dry that dogs are marking the territory with chalk lines. Oh no, the poor dogs. So what should we do? Work goes on, conserve water for industrial buildings. Life goes on, conserve for water for residual buildings. Pray for rain and hope for the best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, if we do not have money, we cannot do anything. So I would say work goes on. I'm quite sad, guys. But you can see now that... Uh, they are affected by drought. For example, on plantations, this means they are producing slower because they don't have that much water when it's not a drought. But we should probably we have enough money in the bank and still the love of the people, so we can we can do anything. Oh, we Again, just... pro that's probably President. just about all we've got time for tonight. So sad, so sad. <laughs> but I hope we could show you guys some, some awesome stuff on Tropico, how the game behaves, how it plays, how convenient it is with the controls and also in the handheld mode on Switch, how the game looks and feels. Um, yeah. Yeah, and well pointed out by that. <laughs> Toby who's monitoring our chat. Um, yeah, we're, uh, we're leaving the nation in a crisis, you know, in fitting with... Uh, world politics at the moment <laughs> sometimes art imitates life and that's what we've got here today <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, thanks very much everyone for for joining us as a reminder tropico 6 nintendo switch edition is out today it's out right now it's on the nintendo eShop. it is available physically as a little cartridge for your switch um and of course still out on PC and PS4 and Xbox One as well. And we'll be back with compatible on the new consoles as well. So check it out. Let us know what you think. And we love hearing your messages, hearing what you think. And um, I hope you join us again for another live stream very soon. Thank you very much for joining us tonight.